Hello, this is Haku the Bean, and today we are going to be tumbling again. If you like this video, I suggest for you to leave a like on the video. Comment down below about how amazing I did it, it with making this video. And maybe subscribe to the channel so you can see even more videos that you would enjoy like this one. Now let's get right into this. And I know, I made that really, really long. You're teleported to 44 BCE Rome in your everyday street clothes. You're brought before Caesar and he believes you might be from the future. Hope it's bring him fortune one day he, he questions you asking, How do I die? The best response so you can't and freaking avoid it is surround by friends. Caesar's as he's getting stabbed and remembers. Oh, come on. It has very expensive eyes. In Rapture by the Beanie Baby documentary. I don't think I, I think I might have had one when I was a kid, but I haven't seen the Beanie Babies in forever. And I definitely don't have any anymore. These little fruits are holding him down. Free him. Oh no, it seems dangerous. Sour cream baby. All hell, sour cream baby! The only way to live with a cat. I see you are doing a thing! Guess what? It's time for me to cat! I just read the friggin' username. <sighs> Maybe I'm an old man, but goddamn, these fat empires with blood dripping down their chins. That's your food! That's your food! Close your mouth! You think some um, a-hole sovereign chicken noodle soup or yogurt or clam chowder all down themselves would be sexy? What makes you any different, you sticky saint slack jawed screwball? Close your mouth, use a napkin, and for goodness sake, stop looking so smug like, ooh, I'm a creature of the night, look at what sustains me. Yeah, uh-huh, a freaking lack of basic hygiene is what I'm seeing, and it is not oppressive at all. My nephews are three years old and I drool less than you do. You're how many centuries old? Act like it. <laughs> My other penis is a vagina. Why the fuck was he kind of cooking in with that bumper sticker? I to pause because I was caught off guard by how hard this goes. I mean... <sighs> In fifth grade, we were making little clay statues and mine came out crappy so I left a big air pocket in it so it would explode. That's what my teacher put in to kill it and it explodes so hard. It destroyed 10 other kids' statues, and they were all on the verge of tears. I thought it was really funny. I still do. So you basically planted a bomb. I want to do that. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I sure that when I was a kid. Anyway. Brother, 
I'm going to be honest with you. I don't give a freak if he's redeemable or not. What is this, the checkout counter? He's not a freaking coupon. Too many of you who focus on redemption. Boo! <laughs> Bottoms all across the world just got access to some high-grade weaponry. <gasps> The sad face point to left, point right. The sad face point left, point right is real. Oh my goodness, I need this so much. The fact that makeup is considered to be mature and sexualized implies that being a clown or mime is the sluttiest job out there. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> Trying to do research for writing is so dumb. I'm literally on the Wikipedia page for rabbit. Rabbits, also as bunnies or bunny rabbits, are small. I think we learned something here today. <sighs> the older I get, the more I loathe and pity these manly manosphere alpha male influencer types. Pity them because they've got no idea what they're talking about, and loathe them because they imagine that they do. The fuck do you know about being a man? Who the fuck are you to talk about fatherless behavior and claiming that a man's measure is commanding respect? It doesn't matter whether your father was worth shit. What matters is if you're, you're worth shit as a father yourself. You're not uh, on authority whether worthy of respect just by being there and demanding for it. A toddler can do that. If your worth and value is in what's been done to you and how you're treated by others, you think they will always be in the hands of others and at the mercy of strangers. How fragile is your entire worth as a man if I could undo it in a blink just by spitting in your face? And you gotta uh, think about, uh, uh, from my perspective, uh, as a woman, a trans woman. So a failure of a man. And, of course, being far better at, at things than and some cis men, I'm quite sure. I haven't found what things in cells are, but I'm quite sure something I'm better at them I'm dead. <laughs> Hits the bong and, and immediately becomes aware of the narrative. Hits the bong again and looks directly at the camera knowingly. This is how Eve got expelled from Eden. <laughs> Pretty much. This era of celebrities who appear so visually flawless and attractive that it makes them register as unattractive is such a weird mindfuck. Look, like I could name 200 celebrities that people think are extremely beautiful or handsome, and I'm not the nice that they are, but it's just that they have so many cosmetic procedures that in my brain they register more like wax figures than human beings, and it's like I can't imagine them having sex or have any desire for them because it seems so unreal. They've been like altered to look like if you saw them naked, they would just have a blank mound of flesh where their genitals should be. Like a Barbie! Hmm, that's interesting. Didn't we have a Barbie movie recently? Whales aren't special just because they eat krill. If you put me underwater at great depths and held my mouth open, I would probably swallow things. I would probably swallow lots of things. Do you think that hearing the well of an ambulance or a fire truck siren Hits huskies and other howling dogs right in the soul all the same way he catches you off guard when you ex unexpectedly hear a sea shanty. 
I don't know. Accidentally shows the aesthetic academia girl in class, my I plan her, and she immediately has an aneurysm and dies. This is the kind of log you fight in a video game where each progressive log you pick up throughout the area gradually becomes more incoher incoherent and deranged before you face him as a boss, God mad with outrage knowledge. Yeah, that's how I take notes. Ooh, I haven't seen this one yet. Let's open this image in a new tab. Whew. Oh my goodness. Haters be like, Soy Boss will make a path that goes through every door exactly once. I don't know if I did it right. Hang on. No, you missed one! Ah. Uh, pain. Sorry! It's true, you can't and draw a one continuous line that would do it. But if the kitty and Betty set it out by going through the door, or is it marked aside and walk and each walk a certain way, either colored arrow show or at the same time their collective path as a team would go through. Each door only once. The moral of the story is actually about friendship and cooperation, because in this world there are tasks you can't do on your own. I'm talking with you oh I'm pretty sure this is no right answer. Ah, uh. I see. So you go like that. One half of the attempter. <laughs> I could caught to the solution with only a with a one hundred percent mortality rate. <laughs> Stop being so incredibly funny at my impossible puzzle posts. You can switch the tracks so the trolley will kill will, will, will kill one person, or you can allow it to attempt the fruitless crusade of running over each person in the maze only once. Red, me and my pile of bricks making less sores we, we, without going through any. Me, fucking exhausted from all the bricking, looking for a cold one. All the days of work passes out. My end decides about walking in and being faced with having to make a decision immediately leaving. Ooh, I'm a ghost. <laughs> This just gets more incomprehensible the further you go sometimes. I feel like we've seen it, but we might as well look at it again. There's no harm in that, it's just making the video a little bit longer and I need all the watch time I can get. One of my favorite hobbies is thinking about the freaked up implications of the fancy world map my parents got me for Christmas. Middle Earth is right next to Wonderland. That is funny. Oh, and there's Scooville. And Terabithia! I found the full one and it's so much more chaotic. 
Hyrule shook me to my core. The world has two kingdoms rules by being a uh, uh, by a being in a tower. The existence of Oz and Neverland is wild too. Does this mean that there is a real Earth outside of this? Could Wendy hang out in Westeros? The fantasy world map, tried by Dan Math. Why was this guy on Math when he was doing stuff? But whatever. So you have uh, Oz right here. Here's the Emerald City. Here's um, Kroll. Is he right to the north of Oz? Here's Narnia. And there's the wardrobe right there. Here's a Wonderland. Just to the south of Narnia. Here's Middle Earth. There's Mortar. There's a Shire. Here's where the wild things are, just on this tiny little island. Here's Whoville, Edsela Salu, here's Terabithia, Moomin Valley, Someone's Island, Dinotopia, we're just gonna go with the main continent here first. Yeah, Fantasia right here. With Ra and a Labyrinth. You have Kadath. You have the Dreamlands here. You have Lankmar. Newan. Land of the Lost. You have Avalon here with Camelot and Florin. Here's the Earth Sea. Here's Lidsville. Apparently, this is Hyrule, which is very inaccurate, or these lands are far larger than we think because Hyrule is huge these days. Or this is like a Zelda 2 Hyrule or something. Who knows? Here's Sildor and the Living Island. Here's Utopia. Here's Westeros. Right by Never Neverland. Here's Lilliput. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, wait. I still need it zoomed in. Just... Not the way I had it. Where was Moomin Valley when the Westfold fell? They were probably dealing with their own problems. I mean, where the heck is everyone else when the Hyrule keeps on getting taken over by I, some form of this one guy? Star Wars has three types of guy. Funkies is go from the worm police system. Sour bad guy man and Chris. This person actually makes them. Here is Alder Beto. Homeworld, biological information, homeworld, blue 2. Description of information, species, glimpfed. And here we have Savage Oppress. Biological information. Homeworld. Darth Mir. Died. 19 BBDY. Mandalore. S descriptive information. Species. Zabrak. And we have Pablo. Biological information. Homeworld. Nahata. Descriptive information. Species. Rodian. Just in case you didn't know from my most like likely possible mispronunciations of every freaking one of the O's names, I don't watch Star Wars. I do not find any interest in it. Twenty years of truck design progress in one photo. It's so sad that they've been selectively bred for size and aesthetics over their health. Look at that pushing muzzle. There's no way the one on the right can and breathe properly. Which one is on the right? There's no right or left one. There's a closer and further away. People are high. You know what? 
Everyone on this high is so website. My favorite millennial thing, this is more of a zoomer thing though. It's when a group of us are sitting around and talking and someone asks a question that no one knows the answer to and suddenly it's a race to get your phone and Google and be the first to know. Then someone starts reading a Wikipedia article about the thing out loud to everyone else and what started as a casual conversation is now a learning opportunity. And we all walk away a little more knowledgeable about a random topic. Like, boomers hate when we do that, but I think it's one of the best things about us. So long as we have internet or cell signal, all of the world's collective knowledge is at our finger... Our pants. It... Did I say at our finger pants? I mean, at our fingertips. And damn if we aren't gonna, going to use it. Agreed, but I think it's more of a Zoomer thing. Because the Leos are in their 30s. Then they just gave up on, on being cool. Netflix really be making shows like this. Peanuts. I want nine seasons. I... I don't like what they did to the dog. That's my only complaint. I don't care otherwise. Wah. Says it, it is the trumpet. Why is that oddly specific? She looks like the woman named Margaret who sits in front of the office and has a Betty Boop calendar. And usually he is a little stressed out because no one ever puts the, the outgoing mail in the right place. And she's not really great with this whole Google Docs thing yet. But she always remembers to fill up, up her candy jar with peanut and M&M's and seasonal colors. And when she finally retires, the whole place will fall apart probably. How specific. <laughs> Beautiful though. Quinn is the uh, funniest character in Delta Rune. I'll freak you eventually. Relax. Let me be funny first. She's gotta be a funny person. Robots posting memes like Metal Rust and algorithms are flawed. I'm going to become a pristine meat creature that can grow and heal. And when we remind that disease and death exist, they're like, no, I'll be the epic, flawless, organic life form that I just imagined. <laughs> I like my whiskey like I like my man. Twice my age and from Scotland. Smoky, full bodied, and leaves you gasping a little. Left in an oak barrel for at least three years with very low oxygen. I don't like whiskey. So yeah, the first, the head, head, headline I'm saying was pretty true for me. I don't like whiskey that much. I actually never had whiskey. I guess I never had men. Crazy. Anyway. Every video game release as part of a larger series or franchise should have a mandatory waiting period of five years between a game re release and any sequels or DLC planned afterwards. Not to give enough time to make sure the sequel's good and finished, but to drive speedrunners to the state of content deprived near insanity when they start doing ridiculous runs, like randomizing NPC dialogue or cutting every blade of grass. Okay. Thing is, I kind of like what they did with Breath of the Wild. They made it, they gave it its DLC, and then they did a huge wait before Tears of the Kingdom I mean, even got announced. And the speedruns got insane. The mods got insane. Honestly, 
you can actually replay the entirety of Breath of the Wild, not as Link, but as Linkle. That's what a mod actually did, and I really want to get it, but my computer sucks. So I can't do it. Then also I live in a crappy town that won't let me pirate anything. Even though I do technically own the game in real life, making it not illegal, I still can't do it. Very sad. Anyway. <sighs> My boyfriend was showing me his hat, and I leaned over to kiss the cat on the on his soft little baby head, and he went. Meow, and to cover away because I've been wearing my headphones and I accidentally jabbed him and with the microphone. <laughs> and I said, damn, this is exactly like in the Iliad. Explanation, this reference is the scene where Hector, the prince of Troy, goes to his wife after a battle and leads it to kiss his son, who is still a baby and being held in an under Mike's arms, but his son cringes away in fear because of his father's battle helmet. It's a gut-wrenching scene about how war dehumanizes you and separates you from the people you love. This interpretation implies that being a gamer is a not all I guess. Does it not dehumanize you and separate you from the people you love? Tell me, League players, are you still human? No, they aren't. They're incels now. Anyway, that's that freaking just denial of Okay, these guys are basically the same character. Transformers Animated, Nimona, Sent Entidal Prime, and Todd. Ah, no, I didn't watch Transformers anything. Oh my goodness, I have to reload the whole ass thing to read some more memes. I can't believe you would do this to me, you've read it. Don't you love when the a Wi-Fi just goes completely to crap? Alright, that's not what this says. Hang on. Hmm. Beautiful. Now let's try this again. Oh, they have even more new posts. That's amazing. A guy once told my lesbian friend that being a lesbian is a huge turnoff for guys and that she'll never find a boyfriend. Yeah. That's because the lesbians are not into dudes. I really wish this head men could understand that, but oh well. Let's keep scrolling, scrolling. I think we're almost there. At least Pacific. We're getting close. I can feel it. We are there. Whenever somebody Responds with, I beg your pardon, a surger dominance by announcing, then beg.
<sighs> Honestly, if Tupperware has ever gotten bedded during my lifetime, I'd be the most annoying analog boomer about it. My grandkids, my grandkids would be like, Ugh, Grandma, why don't you just take a teleporter trip to come visit us? We do it all the time and it's obviously safe. And I'd be like, absolutely not. It kills you and reconstitutes a copy with your exact memories. You are consciously my grandchildren, and I do not hold it against you. But I know in my heart that you are nothing but copies of copies of copies, born out of irresponsible technology use. I have not touched that devil's elevator as long as I live. I will take an airplane, and you will wait for several hours it takes me to come visit you. And we're not reading that. You know why. I bought a bunch of bananas, and I've caught Cleo saying it every day since. Update. I took the last one, and now she wants to know where the last banana went. Uh, oh, no. How do you know that she does, uh, that she does, that she just really loved that bowl? Oh my goodness, the banana and it's no bowl. Experimentation is good. Because when we leave the bananas on the table without the bowl, she airs them with just as much love. She only looks at the empty bowl right after we removed the last banana. Then she's no longer interested. I just think they're neat. This cat is so wholesome. Why do they love bananas? I have made a new rule that shall take effect on this universe this moment and onwards. You must draw Wonder Woman in its arms at least this beefy. Or you must write, I am a coward, on all your drive applications from this day on. Your blog buff Wonder Woman and be blessed. I mean, it's realistic. And honestly, we should uh, uh, have to do this. There's no difference between exercise and black magic. Both of them hurt your body at first to drain you of energy. But the more you dabble in it, the more powerful you become. I think that black magic actually makes you even more powerful than exercise can. This is the most inspires, inspiring thing I've ever read. Yes, I'm inspired to do some um, dark magic. Metal is so freaking good, I'm eating it. The genre! The music! I'm eating the music! Metaphorically. I am not a goat! Stop saying I like to eat sheet metal! Me when I come over to yours for dinner, you are serving sheet metal again. This is so funny. <laughs> also, I <laughs> had tag on my dash. Tag talking to tags! Metal is so delicious, though. Justice is best served cold, because if it were served warm, it would be just water. This one was bad enough to make me slow blink at the computer as I grinned, so therefore I have to inflict it on everyone else too. Them's the rules. If I have to suffer, so do you. I kind of liked it though. I just like puns. Although Jeff has made some actually bad jokes. I think this is a good one to end on. At any moment, there is a shark behind you. It might be a thousand miles away, but there is a shark behind you. And that shark is totally behind you. It is supporting you in whatever you do and wants you to succeed. Aw, thanks shark. Well, as a blow high owner, oh, my blow high was actually right behind me. 
I have to agree. That strike is behind me and does want me to succeed. Anyway, that's it for today. If you liked this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have absolutely no clue what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So until then, goodbye!